it's a really beautiful day here in the studio. There you go, there's some views out the studio. There's all my mulberry papers. And there you go, there's the, the view out the studio today. Yeah, so hi folks. Thanks for watching. This is a follow-up video from the um, How to Create Lacy Sculptural Fabric-like Papers Felting Mulberry Papers Using the Korean Art of Jomchi. Um, and there's a link below in the description to the previous video, the previous form that I made. I'm going to put a little tab at the top to link as well to that video. And what I'm doing is I'm making three forms and combining them to make an abstract. And the whole process is using these lovely organic forms that you can make when you make holes in the jomchi and felt it. So this is the second part, the second form that will be combined all together at the end. The jomchi process is quite time consuming. You have to really squash the papers with your hands over a period of time. Um, it's not really evident in this video, but you you have to squeeze them between your hands for about 30 minutes, then you unravel it carefully, fold it in a different way and then squeeze them again for another 30 minutes. And this process really goes on until you're happy with the result, until you're happy that it's felted together and that it's um, the forms and the sort of response that you want. And it takes time and experience to know exactly what you want. So good luck with it all. So having done this one, I'm going to combine it with the previous video. I'm going to put that in the link again above. And then I'm going to combine the two forms and one more other one that I'll also show you how to do into a big abstract. Well, it's like two and a half foot by three and a half foot. A big abstract that really takes advantage of these lovely organic forms and the lovely lines and mark making that only this process can do. I hope you like it, I hope you enjoy. Um, please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching and see you again. All the best. Okay, so that one came out like that. And I'm just gonna try another one. I think where the different layers were, it was problematic. And maybe if I make it simpler and do simple holes that don't have the sort of problem of the thinner filaments which seem to have torn and also if I do it more gently it might be interesting so I'm going to do a, a white and a cream one yes so let's lift this off because I'll keep jumping that this evening but right, this time I've started with a cream on the bottom and I'm going to go for the white and maybe a cream and then a white. I'm going to do it all first. I'm going to do four layers, make it more substantial. And I do love it when they're very translucent as well. There you go, so I've got um, four layers. And then I'm going to do some holes in them. And I'm going to do it a bit more thematically this time. A little bit more care. So I mark out the design with pencil. And I'm just keeping the spaces between the circles a little bit broader this time. I want to just see if I can get a sort of consistent finish. The last time the layers interacted. Um, I tried it with a pair of scissors and decided against it and then put the whole thing onto a cutting board and cut it with a scalpel blade. I cut round the outside of the holes so that the marks from the pencil don't show. But you can draw onto the papers and then jump to the drawing into the felting which is obviously really nice and I will show that in, in another video. I know that I've got the four layers and I'm hoping this will create a sort of more of a consistency in the shape of it that'll probably be more of a solid form but we'll see because I haven't done it before and there's bigger gaps between it we'll just see how this whole thing responds when it's finished right take the design away put your cellophane back down again and then 
lay it nice and flat and apply the water from the centre outwards to keep it flat. All you're really thinking about now is getting it thoroughly wet and then when you put the other layers on top I want them to match up so there's no thin bits, thin bits of mulberry paper. So it's got to be wet enough and then you've got to put it down flat enough that all the air bubbles come out. It just takes time really and then once that's on, once the second layer is on, you then apply another layer of water from the middle outwards, always keeping sure that the bubbles are out. You can get a rolling pin onto it and gently squeeze the bubbles out and I just do this process until I've got all four layers down. The only thing is just to keep it wet and to keep the bubbles out. As you can see I'm keeping all that layers pretty much in line so that when I do jumchi it there's a consistency in the actual density of the papers and I'm hoping it'll create this sort of solid form rather than the stringy form but we'll see how it goes. I think that's the last layer going on now. And then I'll jumchi this in the evening in front of the telly and just really take my time, wear my gloves and sit with a bowl on my lap um, and pass the peas from one side to the other. And then it's just a question of starting to confetina it up and irregularly. I know you're not supposed to but I didn't like the, I did do an ir a regular one and it just created stripes of of where it got worn on the edges. I don't know whether it's how I do it. Oh, a bit of red in there. Okay. And then I'm just gonna have to scrunch it and start the jumping. And this I'm just going to do over tonight. So I've got the two of them I'm going to do and just see what happens if I really jump chi them. Okay, I'm going to do them tonight. Okay, so I can put these in a plastic bag for now so to keep them wet. And in front of the telly tonight, I shall do them. I can't do them now. Drive me crazy. This is a really lovely process. And as you do it, as you get better at it, you'll start to understand the medium better. As you experience doing it, it's very much about experiential learning. I'm not really showing you exactly how to do it because your own personality is going to determine how you use this stuff. Because I'm quite... Um, vicious with it I suppose. I quite, I've quite got very strong hands so I think I may be a little bit too rough with it. The whole thing is that you squash them between your hands over a period of time um, and I'm not very patient but it has become evident that the different ways that you do it creates different effects so please I hope you enjoy it. All the best. <laughs>